to bring sushi love in this episode i will be sharing with you this node 3 setup that i created it's basically um, me trying to understand the noise in geometry nodes field currently i have this default cube that's being disturbed by noise and on top of that we have this icosphere that's kind of acting as influence on top of the disturb cube okay the cube is already disturbed by noise and then we have this additional influencer and if we run this while so while while it's playing the playback we can actually use this icosphere to continue reshape the default cube okay so that's a lot of complex thing happening right but it's actually uh, super simple and here in between i am actually using dynamic paint so lots of things going on and everything happening inside uh, geometry nodes okay let's actually try to rebuild this from scratch in order to understand what's going on so we start with the, the default cube and without even using modifier like subdivisions whatever we can actually disturb this uh, using geometry nodes and it's a lot easier now although it's a uh, it might sound a bit complex but the idea is uh, okay we can we can subdivide this object inside the node right so when we subdividing if we look at the spreadsheet you can see the number will grow because we are we are adding points so let's save this very quickly this is noise study so with the geometry nodes field we are able to access things like position and normal so we can with this two we can kind of create noise displacement of some sort pretty easily so if we use the position the point positions of this default cube that has been subdivided we can output uh, noise if you look at here under the modifier geometry nodes we we have another we have new output called color and this attribute is actually dynamic in the past, it, it won't be possible. We, we only stuck with uh, something that's already subdivided or something. So we, we cannot just keep adding vertex color. But in this case, we can. So I just generate a new attribute called color. And this color is actually dynamic. We can use it here together. So what's going on is uh, we are passing this noise texture that's being generated generated on the fly inside geometry nodes into the new attribute color that we can use on the shader so let's take a look if this is actually working we need to use this with cycles there so we already have something this color we can just plug this into the emission we can zero this we can increase the emissions and this noise is actually based on the vertex color uh, based on the number of points if we reduce the number we have less we can scale the noise okay so you can see the color here is also changing and we can use a 4d noise and we can animate this so this is really already uh, quite powerful <clears throat> so we can we can try offsetting the original position of the geometry um, we can offset this using the color okay so vector math so original position and this color vector we just mix the two together and what's gonna happen we have noise that's disturbing our mesh 
So the default cube is now pretty disturbed. Okay, so if we want to use this together with the normal, you can sort of do that. Let's see. Okay, in order to stay uh, sane here, always look at the solid solid lines. That's the original geometry that's being disturbed. The rest of them, like noise and the color being passed on, is uh, additional things that's happening, kind of like a mechanism. So if we want to disturb this using the normal, we just multiply the positions and the normal. Maybe just add them together. Position, original position <clears throat> plus the normal. So it's kind of displacement modifier. And we just need to add the noise into it. So we just duplicate this, pass in the the noise and add multiplier. Oh actually maybe like that and then pass this into the position. So we are disturbing this using the normal now. Let me see if I can control the strings. Okay. Yeah, I think it's sort of sort of working. Well, anyway, that's uh, the things with the normal and positions for now. Let's don't do that. Let's say we are happy. We're happy with this. And we want to smooth this. Um, the new way to do that is to... Let's focus on this group output. And we want to create new output. Make it a simple boolean on and off so for this we want to assign smooth shade okay suddenly we have control over the smooth shade I think this should change into smooth. Yeah, it should generally work with the uh, instancing, but anyway, don't worry about that either. Let's continue on. Let's let's create a new objects, this icosphere, and I want to affect this default cube using the noise. Um, let's turn this into a dynamic canvas. So dynamic paint, canvas, create canvas, and turn this into weighted canvas. And let's output a dynamic paint weight. Okay. For this guy, I want to create dynamic paint and turn this into a brush. And this brush should work under mesh volume and proximity. So now, this object will have dynamic paint weight that we can use inside geometry nodes. So let's create another geometry node. So you can see the dynamic paint is sandwiched between the first geometry nodes and the second one. With the second one, let's uh, let's actually use the normal thing. So in the original cube, we just disturb it using noise. On the second geometry nodes, we're gonna use position and set position and the normal mixed together. But we, we're going to pass the selection weight from the outside, which is from our dynamic paint weight. 
Okay, so we are passing this attribute inside directly into this queue, and it started things starting to get uh, more interesting this way. So you can see here, I can now control the normal push based on the icosphere. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? <clears throat> the whole thing is becoming really simple. Let me adjust the distance of proximity. Uh, by the way, I'm using dynamic paint at the moment instead of using nodes to explain what's going on. This is something that we can do um, in the near future. Actually, we already have we already have proximate geometry proximity, but this this node will be will take some time to understand. I think I will try to make another tutorial talk about this geometry proximity. But for now, we know that this brush, this dynamic paint, is influencing the default cube that has been disturbed by noise, and this extra influencer is adding more into into it simply by pushing the original position using the normal just adding them together but the selection weight is coming from this influencer so we might have two influencer if we play back the time while this influencer is influencing the default cube so it's the whole thing the whole thing changes As a result, we have kind of like a chaotic looking default cube. Pretty interesting. Yeah. So hopefully you find this useful and interesting. Again, this is like the whole thing happening inside geometry nodes. You can see how things changes with this spreadsheet. Um, the color is changing. The dynamic paint is also changing if we run the playback. So everything is, like I said, the attributes becoming more dynamic. You can change the attributes on the fly and it's, and it's really powerful um, that you are able to do this. And you can also still influence the nodes while it's playing back. So this is how much this thing get pushed while it's being influenced by the dynamic paint. All right, so hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.